Yeah. We back. What's up, JT? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Trinity. Today, I'm going to be making pasta from scratch, okay? Now, look. I've never made pasta from scratch before. However, I truly believe if I put my all into something, I can do anything, okay? Plus, I've always been wanting to make pasta from scratch especially after getting my KitchenAid mixer, okay? And I also got this attachment. My husband did buy me this uh, KitchenAid mixer for Christmas. So comment below and let me know what can I make? Cool things that I can make with this KitchenAid mixer that's gonna make things easier, okay? Cause I've been doing things by hand for a very long time. <laughs> You're gonna need flour and eggs and olive oil and some salt. I actually measured the flour with a measuring cup and out of curiosity, I'm like, mm, let me kind of just do it another way that I've been seeing that's gonna give me a more accurate number. I took flour from that bowl and just started adding it slowly and to my surprise, wow, like, I was going to use too much flour for this. The flour that I'm using to make this pasta is a highly recommended flour. Um, it's not all purpose. It is the um, double zero, oh, oh, the zero, zero. That flour is very fine, which creates a better pasta. You can use all purpose flour. I heard it really truly doesn't matter, but there are differences. Today we're making fettuccine for this special dish that I'm gonna be making later on. I need it to be fettuccine. I don't have a fettuccine attachment, but that's not gonna stop me. We're gonna make the fettuccine shape from scratch. But anyways, let's go ahead and make our dough. You're going to, of course, put your flour on a clean surface and you're gonna make a well with your finger, position it like this, you know. You know, think about it like that. They have to bring y'all closer. I don't think y'all wanna see my face. Y'all wanna see how to do this, right? So I'm gonna focus it in just a second make a well is it a big enough well i don't know all right so the rule of thumb when making pasta is every four every hundred gram of flour you need one egg this is 400 grams of flour therefore we need four eggs so i'm gonna do the one hand crack it's one egg oh my goodness i feel like i i need more um space oh no i feel like i'm already doing it wrong Ooh. if i put one more egg in here i feel like it's going to go over I'm gonna need a fork oh my goodness what have i gotten myself into okay slowly oh oh okay no problem no problem no problem no problem no problem <laughs> No problem, no problem. I'm going to be making another one, but in the meantime, I was just curious to know when things go wrong, what's the outcome? And I can tell you right now, Let's try this again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's make enough space for those eggs this time, eh? I want to make the Italians proud, y'all. I do. I do. I might make a big whale, okay? Because once you put the eggs in there, that's it. All right. That is way bigger than the first one. Now I'm going to crack my eggs, four of them. Probably be good if they were already pre-cracked, but that's okay. One, two, three, 
three. Okay, now. <gasps> I don't know why I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Y'all know why. I'm gonna crack this one slow. Okay. All right, so from this part, I'm gonna add in, you wanna add in like four pinches of salt. And drizzle four, four drizzles. So it's like a, I don't know if they do it on at this part or you know what, it can't go wrong, right? One, two, three, four. And now break the yolk and scramble it inside, incorporating some of the flour in there. I'm gonna be using this to scrape up all the flour. So this is kind of how it should look. It's not gonna be not messy. I need to get one of those little scraping things. All right, so once the egg is not running all over the place, <laughs> bring it, that's when you start to bring it all together. So my hands still got very sticky. Good thing I had a cloth near. Whoo, this is getting a little tough. All right, now again to test it. If it bounces back, then it's good. Cool. I'm gonna wrap this up, let it sit for 30 minutes. Let's quickly recap some things to better help everyone make pasta from scratch. I actually read that when you have a breach, like I did, where the egg kinda just runs away and it's getting crazy, the biggest tip I read was to not panic and still use a fork and kinda just quickly get that flour to stop it. And then after your egg is no longer running, then start to use your hand. That's probably why my hands got very sticky because I put down the fork and immediately felt like I needed to use my hands to really, you know, get it going. I also read that if you have large eggs, then most likely your dough is gonna be a little sticky and your hands are gonna be sticky. And they said no big deal, just add flour, which I did do, so cool. I mean, it kinda made sense to me, you know? <laughs> Nevertheless, I am so excited and I'm already proud of myself. I'm already proud of myself given that, I mean, it was a sticky situation. I think I handled it very well and I'm just super excited to make this pasta. So it is time to officially make pasta, okay? So I have my two pieces of dough right here. Um, I don't know which one to do. This is the one, um, this was the first one. This one's the second one. So, I mean, can I really go wrong? I'm gonna do, the first one, the second one. I'm gonna do the second one. I don't have one of those um, things. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and cut it another time. And we're gonna work in little pieces. I heard that was the best. Ugh. I should put my hair up in a ponytail. And take our roller. for the exciting part. We're gonna be feeding it through the pasta maker, pasta thinner. <laughs> That's definitely not the words for it. Every one of these, no matter what, has a number dial on it. You're gonna start off with one and then two and then three and then it gets thinner each and every time. It closes in on it. You don't wanna start off all the way thin. Don't, don't do that. That's why I kind of already rolled it out like this so it can be easy 
to feed through. I'm gonna start mine off on one and then three and then six and then eight. So you're gonna feed it through. I feel like I may need to shift this a little. Oh my tippy toes. So this is how you're gonna do it. And now we're gonna switch to the level. Now we're going to level three to make it thinner. All right. Level six, level six. One more time. One more time. Okay. I just don't know how much. As thin as it can go, I guess. It feels so cold. Ah! All right, so. We now know where all the carbs come from. <laughs> okay, so fettuccine, right? I want to make fettuccine. I mean, technically I need to cut it. Flip it over. We're gonna roll it. this and and we're just gonna try to make sure that it lines up with what I think um, you know thickness is a fettuccine So now you have your fettuccine noodles. Pasta making was really fun. I think I did a good job. I mean, it looks good, but do it taste good? We're gonna be finding out soon because your girl's gonna be using this pasta to make, oh my goodness, y'all, salmon pesto pasta. Oh, it's about to be good. It's about to be so freaking good, okay? I'm gonna be making pesto from scratch, you know, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be using this exact pasta that you see here to make that dish. I'm so excited. I really hope you learned something from this video. 
I've never made pasta ever and yet I made it, which means that you can do it too. Let's get this video to 10K likes for more content like this, where I'm cooking in the kitchen, you know, doing my thing because your girl does know how to cook period big shout out to the j team if y'all want to shout out like this all you gotta do is click subscribe turn on the notification bell and let me know below and that's it make sure to be bold brave and beautiful and i will catch y'all my next video i'm about to kind of get cleaned up a little bit i there's flour everywhere and i'm gonna let my pasta just chill for when it's time